Sunoco Hobby Stocks presented by Finish Line Racing Products. On the pole of this heat race, Bill Richards in the 22R. The F20 is Travis Fink on the outside. Happy birthday to him on Thursday, I do believe. So belated birthday, happy birthday. Michael Steyer on the inside in the red 87. Dayton Ulrich scheduled in the 01U2 on the outside. The man they call Dahmer, Jeff Fink, and Riley Christensen, and then Alec Stapleton, seven cars, six laps. Let's go. Richards and Fink side by side for the lead. Richards will nose ahead and get all the way ahead. Steyer and Fink coming through. Jeff Fink, that is, as Dahmer dives down low, bumping and banging throughout the field. We stay going forward. Side by side for the lead with one down and five to go. Fink, door to door with Richards down the back straightaway. And now Dahmer will nose ahead into three and four as Jeff Fink to the top spot with two down and four to go. Meanwhile, Riley Christensen is side by side with Travis Fink for third, trying to get up into that mix. Steyer is faded into the clutches of Stapleton as they battle for a top five position. Ulrich trying to get back up into the main fray as well as Christensen goes bottom shelf on Richards and makes the pass. Richards a little out of shape and now Travis Fink will try to go through that same slot and he will briefly, but Richards still side by side with him as Christensen goes all the way up near the wall and dives down into three and four. Christensen down low, Jeff Fink up high, and that battle is not over with two to go. Riley Christensen has the inside line as Jeff Fink has chosen to go a little higher on the racing surface into three and four. It's Riley Christensen and Jeff Fink all alone for the lead. Christensen not quite able to lead that lap. Jeff Fink takes the white flag with Riley Christensen right beside him. Whole gaggle of cars, but it's about a third of a straightaway back. Jeff Fink to the lead down the back straightaway. Riley Christensen one more rocket ship run into three and four, but it's the man they call Dahmer that'll get the heat race win. Riley Christensen second and who knows after that. Stock car heat race number one will roll down the back straightaway into three and four to the green flag like this. Number 10, Mike Stapleton on the inside in the pole position. Inside row number one, Tyson Partridge in the seven. Wahoo, Mike Albertson in the third spot. The double K of Trey Klein and then Mike Hansen behind them. Five cars, six laps, then we're green. Partridge to the top spot through one and two that time as Stapleton's in second, and they are still side by side like they're coming to the rolling start for the green for third. As Albertson tries to shut the door, but Klein is insistent on the outside. Now Albertson does slide up, and Klein crosses him over. Or at least tries to, and then Albertson is able to keep him at bay. Partridge out front. Stapleton trying to stay out in front of Albertson as Wahoo is going to try to go after him with two down and four to go. Next time by, it's halfway home in this heat. Inside goes Mike Albertson of Mike Stapleton, and Albertson takes over second. Stapleton trying to hang tough on the outside. Klein has found a way to the inside. Little kiss to the rear bumper by Stapleton of Albertson as Klein there as well. They're battling hard with Partridge out front by three or four car lengths. Hanson to the pit area with two to go. Klein still on the bottom side of Mike Stapleton. That's the 
only side-by-side -side battle right now on the racetrack. Klein fades back a bit, but tries to get a good run through three and four. Albertson a little out of shape just slightly as Partridge accepts the white flag. Partridge, Albertson, and then Klein and Stapleton yet to be determined. We know Hanson will be fifth, but as they come off of turn number four, it is Tyson Partridge taking the win. Mike Albertson second. Mike Stapleton holds on for third. And Trey Klein, fourth place in heat race, number one. Beal winning machine fly and Brian Blessington out of Brita. And on the outside in his own vehicle now, in the 82, Joel Tiggis returning to his own ride. Four cars, six laps. And a quick pace, and they pick it up even more and get to the green flag. Von Drack uses the top line. So does Tiggis. And they are one and two off of turn number two that time. Lessington trying to get to the inside of Steyer. He is there. So is Tigges trying to get underneath Von Drack. One down, five laps to go. Tigges still there with a good line underneath Von Drack, but the horsepower is with the 66 down the back straightaway that time. Blessington still trying to get by Steyer for third as Tigges is giving it all she's got on the bottom line. Trying to make that work to get by Vondrak with two down and four to go. This time Tiggis a little smoother than Vondrak through th one and two. As they come down the back straight away, Tiggis noses ahead. But Vondrak hanging tough on the high side. Side by side, Tiggis will leave that lap and be fully out front. Squatty slides up in front of Vondrak. And now we'll look to get away from him and gaps him well down the back straightaway that time, up to about five car lengths. Blessington was out in the marbles in three and four last time, trying to get around Steyer, and he will be side by side this time with two to go. Back there for the battle for third now, and Blessington does take it down the back straightaway. Can he get to Vondrak as the white flag is out for that white 82 of Tigges? Tigges smooth sailing through one and two for the final time. Lessington with a rocket ship run down the back chute. Can he get Vondrak off a of three and four for the final time? Joel Tigges wins the heat race. Flying by and Blessington takes second off of turn number four. Mike Vondrak third and fourth to Nick Steyer. Let them know one more time you're ready for hobby stock racing at the Crawford County Speedway. Seven, lap, seven cars, 12 laps, the scheduled distance. Seven cars, 12 laps. And here we go. Steyer gets the first call through turn number one around Richards' top side. As Richards a little out of shape, he drifts up the racetrack and Jeff Fink goes right through that gap to second, Ulrich down there as well, side by side, Steyer leads lap one. Steyer still on the top shelf as Dahmer is looking to make a run at him for the top spot. Oh, Richards out of sorts again as 
Travis Fink gets crossed up with him as well as Stapleton gets by them both into the fifth position. Two down and 10 to go. Steyer trying to make his bumper wide in front of Jeff Fink. And don't look now, but Riley Christensen is right there as well. Put the podium under a blanket through turn number three and off of four. Riley Christensen nearly got the spot, but Jeff Fink was able to power right back by. So Christensen's still there. Ulrich trying to insert himself into this conversation as well. Fink a little lower on the racetrack. He'll try to get underneath Steyer off of turn number four. He nearly does. Steyer gets back around him. Four down and eight to go. Little kiss from Christensen through turn number one. Off of two. He washes out just a little bit. And now we'll try to go back after Fink. Oh, a little bit of contact and a little bit more of a turn number four. Fink is up on the wall down the front straight away. Jeff Fink on the wall. Riley Christensen involved as well. We stay green right now, but now the caution flag will come out with five laps down and seven to go. In all that chaos, something got knocked off of someone. And so we got something to pick up on the front straight away. And now Fink and Christensen will both check into the hot pit lane, the right front down on the 79 RC for sure. And with the way Fink rode the wall, they will have to check that car over thoroughly. It looks like the left rear potentially going to be replaced on that 01F. Hard racing the same piece of real estate off of turn number four. And both of them worse for the wear. How about Ulrich? Can Steyer hold on? Pick out your favorite. We're going win again. Five down, seven to go. Steyer, once again, a very similar line. Just about halfway up the banking. Stapleton with a nice run into second down the back straightaway. And now we'll try to follow the tire tracks and maybe go a little higher than Steyer. Ducking down low is Ulrich, side by side momentarily. As we're halfway home that time, Stapleton up into the moisture trying to get the run down the back chute instead it's Ulrich down to the inside looking for the lead but Steyer still able to fend him off with five to go and hello Dama welcome back to the party Jeff Fink sizing him up in fourth Christensen right there in fifth as well after returning from the work area, they're right back in contention for this thing as Fink goes to third. Jeff Fink to third, trying to get into fourth as Christensen around Ulrich. Now Jeff Fink diamonds off the corner down the back straightaway and gets by Stapleton. Continues to nose ahead and now is to the inside of Steyer. And right into the rear bumper goes Stapleton with three to go that time. Beating and banging down the back straight away though, they keep off of each other this time. And now Stella is out of shape and serves it off a three and four. Dammer goes to the lead. Riley Christensen in the second with two to go. Will Stapleton run out of time to Track Jeff Fink back down from riding the front straightaway wall for half of it up to the flag stand to the top spot on the white flag lap. Jeff Fink just has to hang on for two more corners, but Alex Stapleton is going to give him a heck of a shot. 
He will have one in the three and four. Drives it in deep. Oh, Staples into the inside. Contact on the three and four. They're pulling it, pulling it down the front straight away. And the one on that one. I'll see Jeff Fink. And then Alex Stapleton. The lot to wait for the official word. Wow. Riley Christensen third. I know that much. Dane Norwich fourth. Travis Fink unofficially fifth. Smithfield Foods, as this is their parade lap. Let them know you appreciate them. As they sort things out in the pit area, we have Mike Stapleton, Nick Steyer, Tyson Partridge, Mike Vondrak, Wahoo Mike Albertson, Flying Brian Blessington, Trey Klein, Joel Tiggis, Old Squatty, and Mike Hansen. Nine cars, 15 laps. Let's do it. Nick Steyer gets the first call through one and two. Partridge trying to get to the inside of Mike Stapleton. As the Gallagher getter, Mike Vondrak has him stacked up on the top side. Mike Stapleton throws a haymaker, but Steyer leads lap one. Stapleton still there as they go through one and two. Tigus inside of Albertson as he's the only one on the inside except for Stapleton in the top five. Steyer still out front. Little bit of beating and banging deep in the top five. Tyson Partridge trying to get the run down the hill after Stapleton for second. This time by three down, 12 to go! Tigas goes around! All the way around, 360 and stalls it in three. And the other is out. These stock cars always a hornet's nest throughout the field. Can Steyer stay out front? Let's find out. Three wide coming to the green. Steyer still able to get the run down the back straightaway. Stapleton as well, and here comes Blessington with him around Partridge. They are three wide for the runner-up spot momentarily. Vondrak trying to go after Blessington as well. And Partridge is suddenly in fifth. Blessington trying to go to the bottom of Stapleton for second. Side by side, Partridge and Vondrak as well. Beating and banging deep in the field, Hansen and Albertson. Blessington can't quite make the pass of Stapleton. Steyer trying to escape, but still not able to do so. Ten laps to go. Blessington still on the bottom side, but still with the horsepower has Mike Stapleton. Getting the Steyer's back bumper, that, that's as far as he can so far. Nose to tail for the top five. Trey Klein gonna send it down low. Blessington trying to pull alongside Stapleton again with eight to go. And now he'll drive deep into turn number one and slide across the groove. Can't quite make the pass of Steyer, but Blessington the second down the back straightaway. Stapleton with the crossover move. 
And they stay off of each other as Blessington gets second back. Now Blessington making a move for the lead. Steyer still out front somehow, some way. Blessington trying to change that. Vondrak coming after Stapleton for third as well. Steyer just down the banking from Blessington trying to air him up on the high scary side and make that work. We come to five to go. Blessington diamonds off of four and pulls even. Now he'll go top shelf and get the lead off of turn number two. Flying by in Blessington to the top spot. Foley completes the pass down the back, shooting with four to go. It's Blessington out front. Steyer in second. Stapleton still in third. Partridge now trying to get after Von Drack for fourth. Blessington already growing the gap to about five car lengths and more as he comes down the front straightaway. That 92B in clean air has no match from the looks of things right now. Two laps to go for Brian, Brian Wessington. Vondrak trying to get after Stapleton for third. Trying to get into the top five is Klein against Partridge. They're side by side. Blessington accepts the white flag this time, already growing his lead to half a straightaway in just a matter of a few laps. Top shelf again. It's how he got to the lead. It's how he'll get down the back straightaway for the final time. In the three and off of four, Brian, Brian, Blessington. Welcome back to Van Wall Equipment Victory Lane at the Crawford County Speedway. Next tire, second, Jack got Stapleton for third, Mike Stapleton fourth, and Tyson Partridge rounds out your top five. Flying Brian Blessington with the win.